السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you guys? Are you fine? I'm Jana Ahmed Abdel Sadiq and today's model is physics and it's in year June 2018 Now let's start by the first question in this model what we have here from the following pairs of this plane which one of the following pairs is not related to physics we have here what? engineering and chemistry engineering and biology chemistry and biology or biology and civics here civics is not related to physics and also biology so that means biology and civics is the correct answer uh, for question number one which is not related to physics now question number two which one of the following newton's law of motion says that if a force is act on the object then the object will react with an equal amount of force but in opposite direction of course it will be the third law of motion that states that now question number three which one of the following is a contact force we have here gravitational force electrostatic force normal force and magnetic force now what we have here gravitational force electrostatic and magnetic force are non-contact forces but the one which is only contact force it will be the normal force now question number four which one of the following is correct about the law of conservation of energy energy is created is created or destroyed no it's wrong not created but destroyed no both of them are uh, like neither created neither destroyed now what we have here created but not destroyed no both of them are not so we have in choice the neither created nor destroyed so that means neither this and I mean uh, neither this and nor this so that means the correct answer for question number four it will be choice D now question number five pressure is defined as the amount of force acting what multiplies by a given area divided by a given area multiplies by a given volume or divided by a given volume here we know that pressure is equal to force over area right so that means it will be divided by a given area now let's go for the next question which is question number six what we have here is the rate at which velocity changes over time is a or an what acceleration total distance total displacement or average velocity of course it will be acceleration why because when acceleration is constant velocity changes so that means there is a formula for acceleration that says final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken so that means acceleration is constant when uh, velocity is changes okay now question number seven the amount of heat energy per unit mass required to raise a temperature of substance by one degree Celsius is known as what a speak thick heat capacity because we have the mass we have the degree Celsius and we have like the temperature so that means it will be by the specific heat capacity and also we can also write uh, a formula for this question like for example we can say that Q is equal to mass times C times the change of temperature this is a formula for specific heat capacity which is C okay now let's go for question number eight the ratio of work and machine outputs to the amount of work inputs expressed by what mechanical advantage no velocity ratio no efficiency of a machine yes because efficiency of the machine is equal to what mechanical advantage of a velocity ratio uh, velocity ratio times hundred percent so that means efficiency of a machine is the correct answer for question number eight. Now question number nine, what we have here? In metals, Ohm's law states that what? Voltage and current are inversely proportional or voltage and current are uh, directly proportional or that current and resistance are directly proportional or they are inversely proportional. Now the correct answer it would be what? And we know that the formula of uh, voltage, current and resistance is what? current is equal to voltage over resistance right so that means voltage and current are directly proportional so the correct uh, law or like the Ohm's law states what voltage and current are directly proportional okay now let's go for question number 10 the two temperature reading scales with the same interval are what slashes and Kelvin right now question number 11 wires that are dash have lower resistance 
wires that are what that have low resistance if uh, wires have low resistance so that means they are shorter and thicker so the correct answer for question number 11 it will be choice C okay now in question number 12 what is the reflected sound that comes from the surface of hard material it will be echo now question number 13 which of the following devices can increase or decrease the output voltage of an uh, AC source voltage? It will be transformer, generator, electric motor, or electroscope. The correct answer it will be transformer. Now question number 14. According to the law of magnetism, like poles attract and unlike poles repels each other? No. Unlike poles attract and like poles repels each other? Yes, this one is correct because uh, when you will put house with north, it will attract together. But when you will put north with north, it will be repair. Uh, it will repair each other, right? So that means choice B is the correct answer for question number fourteen, and also it's according to the law of magnetism. Now, question number fifteen: the line perpendicular to the reflective surface is what? Line of reflection, line of incident, or line of uh, refraction, or normal? Of course, it will be line of reflection because it says line perpendicular. So that means it will be line of reflection. Now, in question number 16, which one of the following statement is correct? Uh, here what we have electrostatic is the study of what? Charges at rest, charges uh, in motion or electroscope or electric current. Here, if we say electrostatic, so that means it will be charges at rest. Now, question number uh, 17 here what we have the image formed by a convex mirror is always what erect magnified virtual and in front of the mirror or erect magnified virtual and behind the mirror or erect damaged virtual and in front of the mirror or the same thing but it's behind the mirror now what we have here the image formed by a convex mirror is always what it will be erect damaged virtual and behind the mirror but what about erect magnified virtual and in front of the mirror it will be the concave but we are asking about convex so that means it will be erect damaged virtual and behind the mirror now what we have here in question number 18 if a car travels 50 km in a straight line in the first 30 minutes of its trip 50 km in a straight line in the next 30 minutes and continues in this way, its motion is what? A variable accelerated? No. A informally accelerated? No. Because its velocity doesn't change. The accelerated? No. So that means it's a uniform. Okay, now in question number 19, a student holds a book at rest in air by stretching out his hand. The force exerted on the student by the, by the book is what? Greater than the book's weight? No. Less than the book's weight? No. Equal to the book's weight? Yes. C is the correct answer because also uh, this example is related to the law of third law of motion. Okay, now in question number 20. A door can be open or closed due to what? Due to the weight on it or torque on it or distance from the earth or high. Here when he asked about a door can be open or closed due to the torque on it. Now question number 21. As water begins to boil in a kettle, the hotter water at the bottom of the kettle begins to rise and the cooler water above sinks and warms. This method of heat transfer is an example of what? Conduction, radiation, convection, or heat. The correct answer it will be by convection. It's written also in uh, textbook of grade 8 physics. Okay, now in question number 22. Which of the following is correct about evaporation and boiling process? Well, the evaporation takes place on the surface where Boiling is throughout the liquid, and this one is the best answer. Now, question number 23. The following circuit diagram show combination of resistor 
and Voltage surface. Here we have what? A series. We have a series circuit. Now it says what which statement is correct about the connection of resistors. R1 and R2, that means resistance 1 and resistance 2 are connected in series, but R3 and R4 are in parallel? Yes, this one is correct, because if you see that R1 and R2 are in a series circuit, but R3 and R4 are in a parallel circuit. So that means choice A is the correct answer and the best one for question number 23. Okay, now in question number 24. What we have here, comparing the speed of sound in air, liquid and solid, which of the following is the correct order of sound speed in the material, where uh, the speed of solid, the speed of sound in solid and the speed of sound in liquid and uh, V air is the speed of sound in air. How it will be arranged or like order corrected uh, of sound speed in a material? Of course, it will be air less than liquid and liquid is less than solid. So that means solid is greater than liquid and liquid is greater than air. So that means choice B is the correct answer for question number 24. Now question number 25. A stick partly submerged in water appears to be paint at a point where it enters the water surface. Which one of the following gives best explanation for his observation? refraction of light due to difference in speed of light or diffraction of light by the surface of water or light does not travel in a straight line in water or reflection of light on entering of water the correct answer is will be refraction of light due to a difference in speed of light so that means choice a is the business of question number 25 now question number 26 type of salt that you use in a TV remote control and throws out after used known as what? Charged cell, dry cell, secondary cell or open cell? The correct answer will be dry cell. Now question number 27. Copper wire is often wrapped in plastic. Plastic material is what? Semi insulator? No. Conductor? No, it's not. Semiconductor? No. Uh, what about insulator? Yes. Plastic material is an insulator. Okay, now in question number 28, what we have here? A box contains six bags of sugar. The mass of each bag is 500 gram. What is the total mass of all bags in uh, the box? Here what we have, five gram, right? We will convert it to uh, kilogram. It will be 0 0.5 uh, kilogram. So that means 3,000 kilogram is the correct answer for question number 28. Even also we have six bags of sugar. So when you will make one box of uh, six books, is equal to what? Uh, 0 0.5 kilogram. It's not 500, but 0 0.5 kilogram over x. Then we will crisscross. It will be 3,000 kilogram is the correct answer for question number 28. Now question number 29. Actually, to be three kilogram, three kilogram is the correct answer because here it was five hundred kilogram, but it's not five hundred kilogram because how we uh, change five hundred gram into five hundred kilogram? So it will be changed by thousand. So one, two, three. So that means zero point five kilogram. We will crisscross uh, six times zero point five kilogram. It will be three kilogram. So the correct answer for question number twenty-eight. It will be choice B. Okay, now question number 29. When the length of each edge of a cube is doubled, its surface area increases by a factor of what? Here it says cube is doubled. So that means it will be by 4. Now question number 30. A boy is pushing a box of mass 15 kg parallel to rough uh, horizontal surface if the coefficient of refraction is 0.4. The force of friction between surface and box is gravity, which is equal to 10 meter per second square. So what it will be the correct answer for this question? 
First of all, we have the kilogram. We have what again? The coefficient fraction. We will times the 0 0.5 times 150, which will give us 60 Newton. And times 10 meter per second squared, so it will give us Newton because kilogram times meter per second squared it is equal to Newton. Okay, now question number 31 a rectangular block of metal weights to 1880 gram. The length, weight, and height of the block are 8 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and 5 centimeters, respectively. What is the density of the metal? The density of the metal, first of all, the formula of density is equal to what? Mass over volume, right? So when it is mass over volume is equal to what we have here, mass, 2880 gram. So it will be 2800 over 80, then divided by 240, you will get what? 12 gram over centimeter cube. Okay, now question number 32. A TV set was pushed for a distance of 150 centimeter by the application of certain Newton force in the same direction of the set moved. How much work was done on the set? First of all, we know that work is equal to what? Mg. And also it's uh, equal to work is equal to force times S, which is distance. And we have here Newton, which is force centimeter which is distance then 150 times 30 to be 4500 joule which is choice d okay now in question number 33 what we have here a swimming pool of weight 15 meter and length 25 meter is filled with water to a depth of 4 meter calculate pressure on the bottom of the pool due to the water and take that gravity is equal to 10 meter per second squared and the pressure of water is equal to what? I mean the density of water is equal to a thousand kilogram over meter cube. Okay, so that means what we are going to make here. We know that the pressure of liquid is equal to what? PGH. So that means it will be thousand times ten times twenty five. So then the correct answer it will be what? Forty thousand Pascal. Okay, now question number 34, what we have here? In the diagram shown below is an electric pulp structure. Okay, then parts of the filament and pads are represented by numbers dash and dash respectively. What? Here, where's filament? Actually, filament, it's located here. And uh, pads are located down. So that means... 3 and 6 are the correct answer for question number uh, 33, I mean 34. And uh, that means filament is number 3. Bears are in number 6. Now question number 35. A candle is found between a convex lens and focal point F. Which one of the following construction of ray diagram correctly shows the position of the mesh? Convex lens and focal point so the correct answer it will be choice b okay now question number 36 in a physics laboratory students record data for the motion of object a and object b as shown in the pillow uh, table here we have object a and object b and for each it's have a table so which one of the following is correct about the nature of their motion we have object A uniform and object B is accelerated. Let's check this one. A here we have by A2, by 24. Here by 2. It will be 4. By 4. By 4. By 4. And here by 4. So that means this one is a uniform. Okay, what about object B? Here it's not 6 over 18. It will be by 3. No. So that means object B is accelerated. And object A is uniform. So the correct answer for question number 35, uh, 36, it will be object A is uniform and object B is accelerated. Okay, now in question number 37, 
what we have here figures below represent dot diagram of moving cars okay the time interval between each dot is the same for each diagram which of the following diagram represent a uniform moving car here it was moving two times then there was a place then drives here then stopped and drives between four and five then stopped and drive from nine so the one which is like moving uniformly it will be choice d because it's uniformly and equal distance between each uh, dot okay now question number 38 what we have here the temperature reading of substance in kelvin scale is shown 53 kelvin what will be the reading in Fahrenheit scale we have first of all Fahrenheit when, when we're trying to uh, like if we have degree relations and we want to change it into Fahrenheit we'll use this formula which is Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times Celsius plus 3 and for uh, Celsius that we want to convert into Kelvin it will be Kelvin is equal to the temperature of Celsius plus 273 so what we will do here first of all we will make 53 Kelvin is equal to TC plus 273 then the correct answer at the end after finding a uh, temperature of celestial degree you will put it in place of here TC to get what TF which is for hand temperature so that means the correct answer for question number 38 at the end it will be negative 396 degree Fahrenheit now question number 39 in hydraulic lift we apply pressure on the smaller piston what will be the effect on the larger piston so that means we are asking about the pascals I mean like the pascal law right which is F1 over A1 is equal to F2 over A2 now what we have here it says if the small piston it will be uh, will be the effect on the larger piston so that means what pressure is constant but force is increasing okay now in question number uh, 40 as we compare magnetic lines of a power magnet and an electromagnet of a selenite select the correct statement from the given alternatives here that we have four in both magnetic field lines are permanent no in both magnetic field lines have different shape of pattern no it's not correct the both the number of magnetic field lines can be increased no so the last choice that we have or the last alternative what we have in power magnet directions of field lines are fixed but in solids can be changed and this is the correct and the best answer for question number 40 this was the last answer for the last question in this model. I hope that you benefit from uh, the answers that we solved together today. And inshallah in the coming videos we are going to solve more models with you. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Goodbye.